A New York City judge ruled Tuesday the process used by the state of New York and New York City to shut down illegal cannabis shops is unconstitutional. Under the program Operation Padlock to Protect, more than 1,200 cannabis shops were inspected and shut down across New York. New York City Mayor Eric Adams spoke about the crackdown during a news conference back in August. The people thought we're not, we, we could not uh, get our hands around, but yes, we got our hands around it, and because we got our hands around it, we're going to destroy uh, illegal cannabis in the city. It's not going to go in our neighborhoods. It's not going to target our children. New York Governor Kathy Hochul said the shops were selling unsafe illegal products laced with fentanyl that can kill consumers. City officials said the padlock program resulted in the seizure of $82 million worth of products. Operation Padlock to Protect allow New York law enforcement to raid and shutter shops suspected of selling illegal cannabis products. The operation also gave the city sheriff the authority to decide if and when the shops could open again, but they would have to remain closed for at least a year after the raid. The judge ruled the shutdown of the shops violated shop owners' due process rights. An attorney representing one of the shops said the judge's ruling will allow every shop to reopen and sue the city for damages. Mayor Adams' office said it has filed an appeal. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. For more on this story, download the Straight Arrow News app or visit SAN.com.